with his team down by two, makes the last out. The St. Louis Cardinals select Colton Wong. Good job, all your hard work paid off. You know, I got caught up two years into minor leagues, uh, and uh, I'm calling mom. If she answers, you can tell she's still tired, sleeping. And I was like, hey, uh, go put the speakerphone on and, and get dad. So she went and did that, and I told them, I was like, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to the big leagues. And uh, just a certain moment, ah, sorry. <laughs> um, it's just crazy, man. Uh, for that split second, like, you know, it didn't seem like she had cancer. Um, sorry. You know, my dad was a coach. Mom was definitely the cheerleader. You know, she just had that, such a distinct voice that you could always hear no matter where she was. Top step, you know, yelling as loud as she could so we knew that it was her. Um, letting us know, you know, that she was there. And uh, I heard her, you know, throughout the stands. Excuse me. But uh, she just had that voice. Congratulations, so proud of you. Good job, all your hard work paid off. Congratulations, so proud of you. To be put on the postseason roster, you know, on top of that, and then, you know, I made it to the World Series roster, and you know, I'm in a World Series game at this age. It was intense. My mom, when she came for the World Series, um, you could you could tell things were good. Uh, you know, she just was barely able to hold food down. Uh, you know, we had to wheelchair her most of the places. You know, so it was just a lot of things going on. And, you know, me being young, I wanted to do something special. And, you know, I made a mistake. Check on the run on the pick him up. Oh, this game is over. O'Hara picks off Colton Wong, and the Red Sox win it 4 2. No way can this happen. Wong, with his team down by two, makes the last out. And Carlos Beltran is standing at the plate with a bat in his hands. It's crazy. Guys, some guys never even get to a postseason, let alone a World Series. And I did all that in a matter of months. You know, and then to go from the highest of highs, like I got called up and I went to a World Series game and again picked off in a World Series game. I was like, man, I didn't know what to say. I just kept apologizing because like I just felt like I let St. Louis down. I felt like I let my family. You know, I was getting death death threats on Twitter, Instagram, all that. Um, and in the big scheme of things, like, it's a game. Um, I think people kind of always forget that, but, you know, it, people don't realize that, you know, that was nothing compared to what I had to deal with that off season. You know, I, after that whole thing went down, I just wanted to go home to my family, collect my thoughts, be around my family, be around my mom as much as I could, because we kind of knew that her time was almost up. You know, so we got back, she was sleeping, not sleeping, she was in and out, you know, and, and the day before she passed away, we come up and she's sitting wide up, she's sitting, you know, wide awake, sitting straight up, and we're like, what the heck is going on? You know, so we go up and see her, and the first thing she tells me, she's like, I want you to take care of Alyssa, make sure you take care of her. I was like, okay. And just how much she loves us, and this and that, and we're like, oh yeah, you know, we love you too, you know, we're, we're, we're glad you're feeling better. And then, uh. And she tells me, she's like, you know, I continue to play that game. She's like, don't worry about the pickoff. Just go out and have fun. And the next day, you know, we show up and, you know, we find out that, you know, she's about to pass away. Um, she was basically telling me what I need to do for the rest of my life. Uh, in, in, you know, a few words. <sighs> you know, going through that and losing her at that time, <sighs> it rocked me. I think everybody has those times in their lives where they go through what seems like hell. Uh, that was mine. So for me, the first two, three years in the big least was kind of a blur. I went through a lot in 13 that, you know, put my mental part of the game in a spiral and, and I felt like the world was gonna end. Um, how, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this funk? You know, is this okay that I'm feeling this way? You know, I didn't start talking to people and, and bend my feelings until two, three years later because as a guy, you don't really do that.
you know you you, you be you be a man you know you act like a man so for me that was never something i even considered you know talking to somebody back then it was just it's part of life if i could go back and tell myself one thing would be to go talk to somebody find a counselor find somebody to kind of just let it all out if there's anybody out there that you know has similar situations understand that things do get easier uh, they don't get better they get easier and then uh, you know eventually you find a purpose you know that makes you find that love again and that's what I did First up, Wall. he's looking for his third hit in this uh, postseason for 2014 And 14, bat kind of just went by itself and hit the ball. It's like, you know, it was one of those where you hit it and you're like, okay, I know you're there. You know, obviously, I love playing this game, but I know that I have a bigger purpose in life now, and it's to try and portray this message of, you know, faith and knowing that, you know, struggles are going to happen in life. You know, you're going to get punched in the mouth at some point, but understand that you can get back up, dust yourself off, and and get back out there. I feel like I haven't been my best in the big leagues yet, you know, because I'm still dusting myself off, getting up, you know, but last year was was a huge moment where I, you know, I took my first step of, you know, becoming the guy I know I can be, and, you know, hopefully this year it's taking another step of, you know, becoming a better player, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna look down my arm and know that my mom knows that I played the game hard. So as long as she knows and I know, you know, that's all I need to worry about.